caller C, which is pinned on rod CD, is sliding up and down uh, along AB. The instance shown, which we're told is phi equals 60 degrees, we're given an angular velocity for rod AB. We're asked to find the rate at which C travels along rod AB and the angular velocity of rod CD. So we'll start by noting that this is a rotating frames problem. And you can tell that because the two objects aren't pinned together. There's some sliding between them. So that means we have to assign a rotating frame on this problem. Now with rods, the easiest way to do that is have one of the axes along the rod that's experiencing sliding against it. So we're going to draw our axes like this. This is x prime and this is y prime. Now unlike traditional uh, relative motion problems, these axes actually rotate with AB. So if you're sitting on AB, we're watching that caller C come in toward us and away from us all along the x-axis, x prime axis. Okay. So we're asked to find um, that rate, the rate at which C travels along rod AB. So I'm going to write out our relative motion rotating frames equation for velocity. So the velocity of C is going to be equal to the velocity of A, which we know is zero because it's pinned, plus omega AB cross R of the point C with respect to A, plus the relative velocity of C with respect to A in the rotating frame. This is what we're being asked to find when we're asked about the rate C travels along AB. This may be e expressed as capital Omega in this problem because it is the rate at which our axis rotates. So we're going to see this XY axis rotating at capital Omega equals Omega AC. All right, so we know Omega AB, we know RC with respect to A, but we still have two unknowns in this equation. So we're going to need some more information. Let's work this one out first. So Omega AB is going to be equal to two rads per second in the positive k hat. RC with respect to A, we're actually going to make that k hat prime because we're going to do everything um, with respect to our rotating frame. So RC with respect to A is going to be D1, which is 0 0.3 meters in the i hat prime direction. So we can write that VC equals, oh, there's one other thing though, which is that this collar is confined to traveling along AB. So VC with respect to A relative is going to be the scalar VC with respect to A relative in the I hat prime direction. So it can't move in J because the rod is going to constrain it. So then we can rewrite our equation for VC as we're going to have 2 times 0 0.3 meters per second. K prime times I prime is going to be J, J hat prime plus our scalar VC with respect to A relative in the I hat prime direction. And this is, of course, 0 0.6 meters per second. All right. So we have two unknowns here, VC and VC with respect to A relative. So we need another equation for VC. And we're going to get that by analyzing rod CD. Now the collar C is pinned to this rod, so we can use the regular um, relative motion equation here. So we're going to get VC equals to VD, that's of course 0 plus omega CD cross R 
C with respect to D, and that's our whole equation. We have to make an assumption about the direction of omega CD. I'm going to assume that it is a positive omega CD. So I'm going to assume omega CD is the scalar omega CD in the positive k hat prime direction. Um, we're going to see that that's not the case, but it'll all come out in the math. And the other thing we have to note is that this angle here is 30 degrees. So our r vector, rc with respect to d, is going to be d2, which is 0 0.2 meters, times, we're going to have a negative cos 30 in the i hat prime direction, and a negative sine 30 in the j hat prime direction. So just to review, our vector is here, rc with respect to d. Okay. All right, so let's do out this cross product and we get vc equals omega cd times 0 0.2 and it's going to be k cross minus i is minus j, so minus cos 30 in the j hat prime, and k cross minus j is positive i, so plus sine 30 in the i hat prime. Okay, now we've got these two equations for vc, and we can set them equal to each other. So we've got, and then we're going to look at the components of each. So in i hat prime, we've got that vc with respect to a relative equals 0 0.2 omega cd sine 30. We still have two unknowns in there. We'll have to leave that for a second. And j hat prime, we've got 0 0.6 meters per second equals 0 0.2 omega CD times minus cos 30. So we solve this omega CD equals minus 3 divided by cos 30 and then we can find the vector omega CD is going to be minus 3 divided by cos 30 in the k hat prime direction. As mentioned, it's opposite to the way we defined it, but the math worked out for us. Now we have omega CD. We can find that the relative velocity of C with respect to A, or how, how, what the rate is of C moving along AB, equals 0.2 times minus 3 over cos 30 times sine 30. And that gives us the vector Vc with respect to A relative equals minus 0 0.6 tan 30 in the i hat prime direction. And if we look back at our diagram, this kind of makes sense. If the rods are moving this way, then as they come to being in line with each other, C has to move closer to A in order for the rods to do that. And that's what we find. We find CD is moving in the direction, in the direction as we just showed, and uh, C is moving closer to A in the minus i hat prime direction.